Hi guys, it's Julius here again from Bespoke and I just quickly wanted to show you some of the features on our new dashboard in recognition of Earth Day on the 22nd of April. Now the first page allows us to explore the emissions and the change in emissions of three major greenhouse gases, carbon dioxide, methane and nitrous oxide. On the left we can analyse these figures over time for the whole world or for the countries or continents selected in the drop downs and we also have the option to break down or drill down into the continents and then we can compare continent by continent like so. On the right we have a map which is coloured by the emissions per capita and we can actually use this map as a filter for the rest of the visuals. For, so for example here I've selected Kazakhstan and we can see that the other visuals have been filtered. And we can also hover over the countries to see the trend in emissions per capita over time. Now, the data table below shows us the figures behind these graphs, and we also have a 10 year emission percentage change value here. Now, this is dependent on the year selected up here. So, for example, if I select the year 2019, I can see that the percentage change for Afghanistan from 2009 to 2019 has been almost 40% increase. Moving on to the second page, we can examine the contribution of each industry towards carbon dioxide emissions. We have the percentage um, contribution of each industry here, which can be used to filter the rest of the visuals, and a comparison of the industry emissions over time, and also the contribution of each industry to emissions over time here. The map as before can be used as a filter and again we have a tooltip which shows us the percentage change in carbon dioxide emissions over time and there is also a best fit line to help you visualize the trend from 1950 um, to 2000 plus. Now the final feature on this page is the animation filter up here which shows the evolution of the charts year by year so make sure you have a play around with that I'm not going to show you the whole animation because it may take a while, but you can see here you can you can see the colors um, on the map changing over time. You can also see the increase in coal in this case on the charts on the left. Moving on to the final um, page, we begin to look at emission drivers such as GDP and population. So here on our chart of CO2 per capita versus GDP per capita, we can see that there's a strong correlation between GDP and carbon dioxide emissions. And this can be explained by, as we get ri richer, our access to and consumption of things like electricity and heating, etc., increases. And we tend to grow economically through a transition towards manufacturing and construction and things. And this is where we use up more energy. And we can also see this correlation evolve over time by using the play axis here below. And if you wanted to speed it up, you can actually drag the year across here and you can see a change like so. You can also, if you wish to see a particular country's development over time from the selected date range, you can click here. So here we have Norway and we can see their path that they have taken from 1960 to 2019. Now the sensitivity of emissions to economic change is also visible in this line chart up here. For example, we can actually see the impact of the 2007-2008 financial crisis here. Um, and finally, just like on the other pages, we can use this map as a filter and we can hover over it to see the energy, um, the energy consumption per GDP over time. And if you ever forget any of these features, you can actually use some of these icons because they can help you provide with a bit, help you provide a bit more information to the user. So hopefully you learn a bit more about what's possible with Power BI. Um, make sure you have a look at the dashboard and play around with the, the features that I've gone through. And note that these are just a handful of things that are possible in Power BI. Um, thank you for watching and happy Earth Day.